Hello students, I'm very excited today because we are going to learn about shapes. I want you to identify five different shapes in your surrounding and describe them to your parents. Take a closer look on teacher's table. Many different shapes are displayed. There are different shapes like the uh, circle, the triangle, teacher's table, which is square. There's a hula hoop, which is round. And a color box, which is a rectangle. There are different shapes in a surrounding, uh, which can be differentiated into plain shapes and solid shapes. So let us learn today about both the plane and solid shapes. Let us learn about plane shapes. Here is a square. The square has four sides. All the four sides are equal. It has four corners. One, two, three, four and two diagonals. Now what is a diagonal? When two corners meet and when you draw a line at two corners, we get what is a diagonal. Both the diagonals are equal. So this is a square which has four sides, four corners and all sides are equal. This is an example of a square. A rectangular shape. It is a rectangle. Let us learn more about a rectangle. A rectangle has four sides and four corners. One, two, three, four. A rectangle also has two diagonals which are equal. The two sides, the two opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. In a square, the all four sides are equal, but in a rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. Here we have a rectangular shape. This is a rectangle with four sides, two opposite sides, two equal opposite sides, and a diagonal which you can draw from one corner to another. So two um, diagonals which are equal in size. A third plane shape is a triangle. The triangle has three sides. But triangles can be of three different sizes. They can be at all three sides equal or it can be two sides equal or it can be of three different sizes. So we have a triangle which has three sides and it also has three corners, one, two and three. An example of a triangle. You can see the three different sides. This, this triangle, in this triangle you have three corners, one, two, three and the three sides of the triangle, one, two and three. In your later class you will learn that the triangles can be of three different sizes. Our next plane shape is a circle. A circle has no sides, no corners. This is an example of a circle. It's a hula hoop which you can play with. Can you all guess what plane shape is this? This is an oval. An oval has no sides and no corners. And I have something in my hand which is also oval in shape. And here is it. It's an egg. We will now learn about solid shape. This is a solid shape. It's a dice. It's an example of a solid shape. We also have a tissue box which is a solid shape. It is a cube. This is a cube. Now, surface of a solid shape is called a face. When a line of two faces meet, it is called an edge. It is called an edge. When 
three edges meet at a point it is called a corner or a vertex so we have in a cube we a cube has six square faces so a cube has six square faces in our plane shapes we have learned about a square and a cube is made up of six square faces it has 12 edges this part of the cube yeah this part of a cube these are the edges of a cube this is the surface so we have this is a surface this also is a surface so when we count we get six surfaces of face one two three four five six face so we have six faces and we have 12 edges one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we have twelve edges it has eight vertices now the eight vertices are what is a vertex i told you when three corners meet we get what is called a vertex so one two and three corners meet here so this is one two three four five six seven eight so how many vertices does it have a cube has eight vertices this is a dice an example of a cube so we similarly we also have a tissue box which is in the shape of a cube a second solid shape is a cuboid a cuboid has six faces 12 edges and eight vertices a cuboid the face of a cuboid is a rectangular shape it's a rectangle they are rectangles a cuboid has rectangle while in a square we have in a cube we have square shape faces in a cuboid we have rectangular faces here is an example of a cuboid the post box is a cuboid in shape i said that cuboid has six faces and here are the faces 1 2 3 4 5 6 so six faces and 12 edges now the edges is a line with where the two faces meet so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 how many edges do we have 12 edges for the post box which is a cuboid similarly we have eight vertices which are the corners which are also called corners one two three four five six seven eight in our diagram which is of a cuboid you can see a dotted line here to show you that the the cuboid has that many vertices that many edges and that many faces a matchbox is another example of a cuboid it also has six faces 12 edges and eight vertices our next solid shape is a cylinder this is a picture of a cylinder it has two flat circular surfaces it has two flat circular surfaces one here and one here it has two curved edges it has two curved edges and one curved surface one curved face 
so the cylinder this beam is a cylinder in shape pencil container is also cylinder cylindrical in shape because you have two curved faces you have a flat surface and you have two circle of two circular flat surfaces and two edges this is the edge of a cylinder. another two examples of a cylindrical shape is a candle and pencil holder how many of you like to play football do you know the shape of your football is a sphere and here is a drawing of the sphere it has a curved surface this is a curved surface the globe is also a sphere shape it's an example of a sphere how many of you like to have ice cream teacher too loves ice cream now here we have a cone and the this cone has a fun flat surface can you see the cone in teacher's hand it has a flat surface and one curved surface or an edge curved surface or an edge. it has one vertex one vertex one curved surface and one flat surface let's enjoy the coffee cool of different color let's make an animal once i finish doing the animal i hope you will be able to identify what the animal is here i have cut a triangle for the head next i have taken another long triangle more of a cone shape and i made the neck i have taken a rectangle using a rectangle and a square i have done the stomach the back portion i have used the circle i have fixed the tail in the shape of a rectangle now the legs the four legs i have used a cone a rectangle a piece and a triangle of different colors all four legs are of a shape of a cone with a rectangle and a triangle can you guess what animal this is oh yes it's the giraffe so for your homework i want you to observe and identify different shapes in your locality or in your at home and you can form different animals or different object using different shapes i hope all of you enjoyed today's lesson had fun doing different shapes and i have a circle drawn where you are going to count the number of triangles that's made up of different shapes so you're going to count how many triangles how many circles rectangles and squares are there in the shape that is drawn on the board for my next lesson i want to know the number of triangles squares circle and rectangles are there in the shape that i have given this is your homework so see you next thank you for now i stay home and stay safe